Welcome back to Random Studio Live Learning. In this episode, I want to give you an example on how you can put random values to string on each instance in geometry nodes. Okay, this problem has been uh, around for a while. It's since uh, nine months ago. It was asked. Uh, so if if you have like a bunch of instance of string in geometry nodes, can we put random value? Okay, the answer. I think the quick answer for now is you cannot. Uh, I'll show you very quickly. So let's say, imagine you want to make like a, like a clock face, the numbers, uh, from one to twelve, and you want to use geometry nodes to do that. Um, the first thing you want to do, of course, you want to have like a circle. Let's use mesh circle, and you want to instance on points, right? So on the mesh circle points, create instance of string. We want the value because it's a number, so we're gonna be dealing with numbers for now. Let's save very quickly. Clock numbers. And this should be a really simple thing to do, right? But it's apparently not. Okay, string, if you plug the string into the instance, it's not gonna work. You need to convert the string into curve beforehand and for a clock yeah, you need the numbers and at the moment the curve is also hollow so you want to fill the curve so you get the numbers we do we only need 12 okay uh, we are getting there right except for the numbers we need to put the numbers from 0 to 12 okay it's only 12 numbers if i want to put like random numbers random value it will complain so this is one limitations at the moment there could be a way around this uh, problem uh, but i'll give you one example uh, we could actually use pick instance if we create like a um, like group of instance okay this is a kind of interesting there, there's uh, if we use for example like a uh, instance geometry to instance so this this is interesting because we could for example group this guy over here so we, we want maybe to turn this into something that's a little bit neater um, okay we we need the value so this is gonna be integer so one, two, three, this guy can be group. So it's a lot neater like this. And then we we need to plug this into the instance and then we, we want to pick instance. Okay, so it's a, now it's doing it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And there must be a better way to do this. Okay, one. To, yeah okay um, let me try we we could do it this way because this is like a clock it's only have 12 value it's a so eventually I mean if you do it, doing it correctly with the instance order etc it's gonna you can create the clock face uh, the numbers but this is like a lot of work for just trying to put a value Right, so this is where I highly recommend you to learn a little bit of Sverchok. So Sverchok add-on. If you search GitHub Sverchok, you can download this add-on. It's been around for years. I talk about it in my old videos. The thing with Sverchok is Sverchok is a little bit um, crazier in a way. So in the past, if you are doing this manually without geometry nodes. Perhaps you create a circle with 12 points and then you instance some text objects and then after you do that you create instance of the text object and then you make it real and it makes a single objects things like that right <laughs> with spread chalk you can use typography viewer which is the it's doing the same thing so let's say you have like a circle and you want to have a text We can do it like that 
Okay, let's let's hide the geometry nodes creations. So we have blah. So this is the it's gonna be interesting. You see here we have text objects coming in into this output and it's gonna generate instance on the fly. This is very stretch of things and you can put up arbitrary value. Okay, currently we only have a single text. One way to do this is to use list repeat and repeat the num repeat the text twelve times and increase the radius you see now we, we can we already have a result 12 text objects so each one of them is actually unique so you can replace this if you don't need spare chalk anymore you can delete it um, but we can do something funky as well like random number generator Put this into the that guy and then we want to make 12 value you see now we have random value of text so this is a very much stretch of things the result is all these text objects they are all unique it's not instance objects but they're text objects but we can use this inside geometry nodes okay so that's a uh, that's one thing to keep in mind we can group this so if you really want random numbers uh, between whatever yeah between between 1 and maybe be, between 10 and 99 it's like a lot of <laughs> random numbers you can randomize the seed it's very much sphere chalk things currently it's all at different place right it's okay it's already inside a group so if we come back to geometry nodes here Back to let's see geometry nodes. So we need some random group collections that we can plug there. We can separate children, reset the children. Now we have more control on this guy. So this is really important. This is probably as basic as um, if you want to create um, I don't know like some kind of random art using numbers this is one way to do it so it's random it could be more random I mean you can increase the number of text that's being generated over here if you want 100 you can have 100 random value arranged in a circle of if you want to have grid in spherical it's called plane so let's say we want to have 100 and okay yeah see this is spherical is generating that thing we can hide the group created by spherical and we have we end up with this instance being generated using geometry nodes so that's cool and you can you know you can do neat thing like extrude and now because this is a, already a mesh object we can randomize the extrusions for example turn off individual i think there's uh, something that I miss here but I mean it's randomizing from the face I mean let's see collection info is instance of text objects well yeah maybe it's better if I actually generate curve output instead of a typography but anyway you get the point you can ran create random value text anyway so now you can if you really want to have like a grid and distribute points um, I try to think of something a uh, box okay book cube and then distribute points on faces of the cube
So you can do that. Right? The normal rotation of the normal can be plugged there. Yeah, I think I've done this example in the past, something similar to this. Yeah, but uh, it's much more interesting if you if you combine 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 it with Sphertrop because Sphertrop handles data differently. So if you want to have instead of numbers, you want to have string. You can use simple text split for example you you can write down apple banana orange split this using a space and the output can goes into the text itself text object so if we if you tell the text to be centered and yeah we can do that sort of things so say random vector we want maybe five text oh it's doing some weird things there maybe I need to use list delete level in sphere chop. Okay, now we have this apple, banana, orange, mango, lemon. So five, five string of text that we split and then we delete the level so it goes down in level. We end up with this text. Let's check it out. Yeah, basically the idea is to separate the text into five Objects, maybe I did something wrong. Anyhow, it's a it's possible. Maybe I, I forgot to do something here. We can split the, the text into five matrix five different objects that we can put into a group objects and then we can pipe it into geometry nodes for instancing because instancing inside geometry nodes is much more efficient but you can see here so with the value and stuff uh, yeah if you really just want to have a clock just go back to clock just a range of number instead of random if we want to have like range of numbers, we can do that very quickly, right? Zero to whatever number here that we specify. If we want to have 12, start from one, stop at 12, actually step, start from one, step one, count 12. We just want a clock number. We can do it this way. If the if the number doesn't start at the the right numbers, then we can always list shift. So this is also fair job thing. You can shift uh, vertex just to get the numbers in the correct positions. Okay, so yeah, that's a really. I think it's really simple basic but it's if you are using geometry nodes in inside blender you need to know sphere chop add-on because it's a they are very complementary and then with geometry nodes the instancing is very powerful but with sphere chop you can go deeper into the data in fact you can actually transfer some custom attributes that 
you you want it for example on a, on each point you want like certain value that's coming from Sverchok, you can actually do that um, and then pipe it into geometry nodes maybe in the next video i will talk about that all right so anyway thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you